How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're in a battle versus Lemon in the underused tier from the Discord server. Let me know who you think is going to win based on the teams you see on screen right now and please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. With that being said, let's jump into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Lemon. So the Lemon's going to lead off with Flygon, nice and shiny as we lead off with our Sandy Shocks. So we could, right off the bat, go for a Terror Blast Ice if we really want to. However, I feel like they're not going to stay in. They're probably Choice Scarf and U-Turn or the Hard Switch out themselves into maybe the Milotic or the Hydrapple. So I'm going to go for the Stealth Frox. I think that's going to be really useful here. So they withdraw the Flygon. They don't want to get Terror Blast Ice in the face. That makes sense. Are they going to get Milotic? Boostra. What is that going to be? Is that the Hisuian Gudra? It is the Hisuian Gudra. So we get the Stealth Rocks off, which is great. Having Stealth Rocks is going to be really good for their team. They don't have to regenerate a Mon in Hydrapple, but, you know, it's whatever. So, with the Gudra in, if it's called Boostra, I'm assuming it's an Iron Defense set. So, I'm leaning towards the um, Wing Tail on the special side, really. So, leaning towards the Nine Tail switch right now, because if they go for an Iron Defense, I can Encore them into Iron Defense, which would be great. So, we withdraw our Sandy Shocks, which is great. And we're going to get into our Ninetales real quick. And hopefully they go for Iron Defense and we can Encore them into that, which would be great. Um, so we get the Drow, which is always really nice. And they go for a Withdrawal. So they actually made the double switch, which makes sense, I guess. And they go into Flygon. So that's a good play on my opponent's behalf. Definitely a good play on my opponent's behalf. Now, we are at a speed tie with this thing. So we could try and uh, burn it if we want to. Um, I'm not going to try and do that. I'm going to just switch out. And I'm thinking about Hydreigon. Well, they may go for a U-turn, which would hurt a little bit. Um, so I'm also leaning towards the Sandy Sharks, maybe. But Sandy Sharks can't do anything in return other than Terra Blast Ice. And we don't want to. We don't want to waste that just yet. So um, maybe the best play is to go into Sandy Sharks and then switch out after that. I don't know. Um, let's just go for a Willow Wisp. They're, they're not really supposed to stay in. We outspeed. We miss the Willow Wisp, which is really unfortunate. And they go for an Earth Power, which means the Willow Wisp didn't matter. That's Choice Specs damage, if I've ever seen Choice Specs damage right there, um, which is terrifying in its own in its own right. It's terrifying in its own right. Um, so what do we do here? I'm guessing we could go into Venusaur, and we could Growth. Growth could be really useful here. So I think I will do that. I'll go Venusaur into the Growth. So there we go, Brute Root comes in, looking amazing. And then we'll go straight for the Growth. I think that is the way to go. So they withdraw the Flygon, which makes sense. They're probably going to go into the Gudra, if I had to guess. As a Hydrapple's the one that comes in, which makes sense. So with a Hydrapple in nice and shiny, we get off a nice and powerful Growth, which is going to be great. Now they're more than likely going to expect a Sludge Bomb here and Terra Steel, if I had to guess. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go for a Weather Ball right now. And hopefully this will get the KO because it's in the sun after all. So we go for a Weather Ball. They stay and they don't Terra. Let's see how much this does. Oh, it's a clean KO on the Hydrapple, which is fantastic. So Hydrapple does go down there. As now, they're basically their only option is going to be the Hisuian Gudra. I'm guessing that's what they're going to go into next. In comes Chice, which is going to be what? The Milotic. So Milotic comes in. This thing's probably going to... they can't. There's no way they just brought this thing in to not Terra. So we should go for a Sludge Bomb, right? Or should we Terra Fire just to... I think we go for a Sludge Bomb here. I really think they go for a Terra here. And I'm not sure what type they're going to Terra into. Probably something to resist Grass, though. They are going to Terrastalize. What type are they going into? Hopefully Fairy. If we can get Fairy, that would be amazing. Let's see how well this goes. Terra Dragon. So we actually made the right play by going for Sludge Bomb there. A plus two Sludge Bomb by Life Orb. Are we Life Orb on this Venusaur? Life Orb Venusaur. Nearly gets the KO, which is amazing. But then they go for a Haze, which gets rid of our growth, which is unfortunate. But it is what it is at the end of the day. Now we go for another Sludge Bomb because there's no real reason not to. We go for another Sludge Bomb, takes out the Milotic. So Venusaur is putting in the finest of work right now. We're definitely making the right plays here. The Sludge Bomb on the Terra Dragon was brilliant. I've got to say, <laughs> not to toot my own horn or like that, but the Venusaur play was, it was nice. It was nice. Okay, it was nice. In comes Booster the Gudra. This thing is a threat in the sun. 
We do get some stones damage, which is great. We could Terra Fire Weather Ball. It's always an option. I don't know whether I need Terra for anything else, really. Um, so I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I'm going to go for the Terra Bla Fire Weather Ball. I think that is the way to go. So that's what I'm going to do. So we'll Terra Fire real quick, like so. There we go. And that way, if they go for a Flamethrower, it won't take us out or a Fire Blast. Because we'll be resistant to that hit. And this boosts the Weather Ball power even further, which is amazing. So Weather Ball comes through in the sun. Boosted by Terra Fire. Let's see how much damage this does to the Gudra. It's going to do a clean 45%, which is great. And then they go for a Fire Blast, which is going to bounce right off us, right? Yeah, bounces right off us, which is great. So now we go for another Weather Ball. There's no real reason not to because they haven't got recovery. So we go for a Weather Ball. They probably go for a Draco, but this Gudra is a threat. And we basically just want to weaken it as much as we can. And there we go. So there we go. They're, we're going to weaken it as much as we can. And then they drop a Dragon Pulse, which should take us out. It does take Brew Root out. So we, we, I think we did good by going for that then. I think the Terror was well used there. For sure. We just can't tear ice now with um, with good old, what do you call it? And the sun does fade that turn anyway, so it's a good job we did do that. So um, now I can go into whatever I want to finish the thing off. I'm leaning towards the Registeel. Um, I'm also leaning for the Hydreigon. Hydreigon could be good. I'm actually going to go Hydreigon right now. Um, this does unfortunately mean we reveal our Earthquake, but... We might be all right, to be honest with you. So I'm going to go for a Scale Shot instead of an Earthquake. Because Scale Shot should finish it off. It could miss, but I'm, uh, I'm going to bank on it not missing. So we go for a Scale Shot. We don't miss, which is nice. And it's a clean two shot, which is great. So we're going to get a nice defense drop and a speed boost, which means we outspeed everything on the team. Unless the Flygon was Scarf, but I'm pretty sure that was Specs damage we saw earlier. So with the Gudra out of the way, we are in a very good position right now with Hydreigon. That is for sure. In comes Chinchino. Chinchino is a good switch. So let's see what Chinchino can do here. After some Stealth Rock Chip, let's see how much Scale Shot does. I'm hoping it's enough to get the KO because they're probably going to go for a Triple Axle right now, which will KO my Hydreigon. Scale Shot comes through. We don't miss, which is nice. It looks like it's going to KO the Chinchino. Yes, Hydreigon. Oh, no. Don't hit four times. Don't hit four times. We hit five times, which is fantastic. Chinchino does go down. And that means Flygon is their last hope. Flygon and Meowstic. I think Meowstic can take a crunch. I really think Meowstic can take a crunch. There's nothing on that team that's outspeeding us, though. Flygon comes in. So is Flygon going to be able to take a scale shot? We'll just miss. We'll just miss the scale shot right now. So the stones do dig in, which is great. Could help. Let's go for the scale shot and hope for the best. So they go for a Vacuum Wave, which is going to do a lot of damage to us. I didn't even think I got Vacuum Wave. We go for a Scale Shot, and that is getting a crit on the first hit. But it doesn't matter because it was still going to KO regardless, as the Flygon does go down, which is unfortunate. So the nice physical Hydreigon's coming through right now. So it looks like this Hydreigon moveset is the is the thumbnail Pokemon. Um, it depends whether this Meowstic can take a crunch or not. That's the real question. Can Meowstic, can Meowstic take a crunch? So there's the Meowstic coming in. Nice and, nice and female. Now we go for a crunch. Let's see if we can get the KO here. So we go for that crunch. We cleanly get the KO. And that's going to be the game. GG Lemon. That was a fun one. Hydreigon putting the absolute work with that scale shot. Really good stuff from the Hydreigon. GG Lemon. I like that one. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.